Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, I want to bring up a stupid belief, an ignorant belief, and that belief is that powerlifting does not involve any hypertrophy or volume work. Before I get into this topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas I turn into videos just like this. All right, the internet, social media is a veritable cesspool of misinformation. And this big turd floats, floats around the, uh, the internet quite often. And that is the belief that, and I talked about this a little bit yesterday, the belief that somehow powerlifting or strength training does not involve any degree of hypertrophy and volume training. It's often viewed by the ignorant e-experts, the e-trainers, the guys that sit around on the internet and have no real-world experience with, with really anything um, other than reading studies and debating other e-experts, that somehow strength training is only low rep sets and near max sets, and that's about it. That's how you build strength. Well, the problem with that is that's how you generally build strength once you reach 80% of your potential. The base for strength building is really the same as it is for power building, as it is for muscle building. You have to use a reasonable amount of volume and get strong on that volume. You need to build a base of muscle, a substantial base of muscle. Muscle is your engine. Muscle is the engine that that helps create more potential for strength. It is not the only factor involved with strength, obviously, but it is a major factor. The bigger base you have, the more potential you have. Now, some of you have a tendency, some of you will, will have a knee jerk reaction and want to disagree with me, but I encourage you to watch my video with Stan Efforting where we discuss the off season protocol, the importance of workload. Workload is something that has gotten away. Um, that has completely slipped off the page. It's gotten out of the, the minds of lifters. Everybody's doing the slow ref stuff uh, when it comes to strength building. A lot of younger trainees or, or less experienced trainees or intermediates or, or beginners are so focused on only the lower rep stuff that they're not doing enough workload. They're not doing enough volume to build a muscle base. And this is a bad thing. Power lifting or strength building is not an either or thing. It's not low reps or hypertrophy. It's both and in the right season. The off season, when you're not peaking, should involve a reasonable amount of volume and hypertrophy work. Does that mean you can't do lower rep stuff in your off season or periodize in your off season? On the big lifts, absolutely not. But when you look at a powerlifting peaking program, it generally transitions from more volume and more uh, assistance work to lower volume and greater intensity over time. So the point in making this video was to remind folks or to educate folks that powerlifting is not an either or thing. If you want to build a lot of strength, if you want to get involved with powerlifting, you need to have seasons of your training and occasionally long seasons of your training that are focused on hypertrophy volume workload. When it comes to building strength long-term, you have to have a long-term game plan. That long-term game plan has to have some form of hypertrophy or or uh, or volume work in the mix. You have to build up your work capacity. You have to increase your volume. It really kind of got under my skin, and it gets under my skin when I see comments or people that try to debate this this uh, point because they simply do not understand what powerlifting is. They're sitting back, they're watching these lifts on YouTube. And they really have no experience training with real power lifters, some of the strongest men in the world. They really have no idea what it takes to, to get to that level. If you look at a lot of the top level power lifters, um, they have a lot of muscle mass. They have a solid base of muscle mass. Yes, there are guys in the 220, uh, 198 class that aren't as big as the 270 guys, right? Or the 308s or the super heavyweights, obviously. 
But if you compare those guys versus, say, a, um, a, a, a natural bodybuilder at about the same weight, they have an equal or an equal amount of muscle mass. It's not like they're they're under muscled. It's not like they have less muscle mass. Regardless of the weight class you compete in, muscle is absolutely a critical uh, a critical element in building strength, and it's a critical element in in powerlifting. And you have to look at powerlifting again over the course of the long run, over the course of years and years and years, and make sure you have volume, hypertrophy work, workload, increasing your work capacity in that mix. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.